There's a single answer to the question. What's the best way to generate consistent cash flow? By the end of this video, not only will you know the answer, you'll know how to do it. I'm going to share a few powerful advantages of investing for cash flow that might have you rethinking your strategy altogether. You'll learn how a few of the right moves can have you collecting passive income for decades. What's the difference between investing in rentals versus a real estate fund? Find out which is best for you. Once you're comfortable with an approach, I'll reveal the best way to analyze for cash flow potential as well as two other key things to look out for. Last but not least, I'll share what I feel are two of the best cash flowing asset classes. A lot of investors get caught up on the appreciation of their investments, which of course are important and a fantastic feature of real estate investing. But one of the most important long-term considerations for a real estate investor to consider is cash flow. If you can find yourself an investment opportunity that has both, you found yourself a winner. Now, if you're getting caught up on the big payday of appreciation and you're simply looking at cash flow as dollars in your pocket, you need to adjust your perspective for your own sake. Real estate investing for cash flow provides an investor with plenty of advantages outside of dollars in their pocket each month or quarter. First, cash flow offers stability through a predictable income stream, which can help offset market fluctuations and provide a buffer during economic downturns. Additionally, investing for cash flow can help build long-term wealth as the consistent income can be reinvested or used to pay down debt, increasing your overall net worth. Furthermore, cash flow producing properties often appreciate in value, which can lead to significant capital gains when it's time to sell the property. Finally, cash flow can provide tax advantages, as rental income is often taxed at a lower rate than the other forms of income. Investors can also take advantage of depreciation, which can reduce their tax liability even further. One of the most popular ways to generate cash flow from real estate is through rental properties. These can include single family homes, multifamily properties, commercial real estate, or a specialized asset class like mobile home parks. When investing in rental properties, it's essential to focus on deals that will generate a strong, stable rental income while also offering the potential for long-term appreciation. Key factors to consider include location, property condition, and market demand. Additionally, it's important to factor in expenses such as property management, maintenance, and vacancies when calculating potential cash flow. Investors can also consider leveraging their investment by using debt to purchase rental properties. A great passive strategy for generating cash flow from real estate is investing in private real estate funds. These funds pull investor capital to invest in a diversified portfolio of income producing real estate assets. Investors in these funds can receive regular distributions, which are typically paid out quarterly or annually, providing a steady stream of cash flow. Real estate funds offer several advantages, including professional management, diversification, and the potential for strong returns. However, it's essential to carefully review the fund strategy, the management team, and historical performance before investing. We actually have a whole video that explains the how, why, and what's in it for me of private real estate fund investing. If you'd like to learn more, once you're done with this video, you can check it out by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, for more tips on real estate investing, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. When evaluating potential cash flow producing investments, there are several key metrics to consider. First, calculate the cash on cash return, which measures the annual pre-tax cash flow relative to the initial investment. The annual pre-tax cash flow includes all the income generated by the property, such as rent, minus all the expenses associated with the property, such as property taxes, insurance, maintenance, and property management fees. The total cash investment includes the down payment, closing costs, and any other expenses associated with the purchase of the property. For example, if you buy a rental property for $200,000 and put down a $50,000 cash down payment, and your annual pre-tax cash flow from the property is $20,000, your cash on cash return would be 40% meaning you're earning a 40% return on your initial investment. A higher cash on cash return indicates a more attractive investment. Additionally, investors should consider the net operating income, also known as the NOI, which is the difference between rental income and operating expenses. A higher NOI indicates a more profitable property. Furthermore, investors should consider the potential for appreciation, which can increase the property's value over time. When doing so, investors should look at the property's location, condition, and market demand. Location is a critical factor because it can affect the property's rental rates and demand. Properties located in high demand areas with a strong rental market can generate higher rental income and cash flow. The condition of the property is also important because properties that require significant repairs or renovations 
can reduce the property's cash flow potential. Market demand is a key consideration because it can affect the property's occupancy rates as well as rental income. Moreover, investors should also consider the property's financing options. The terms of the loan can have a significant impact on the property's cash flow potential. Investors can consider using debt to purchase the property, which can increase the returns by using other people's money. However, it's essential to carefully evaluate the financing options and ensure that the debt service payments are manageable and won't negatively impact cash flow. Two of the most lucrative cash flow asset classes in real estate are mobile home parks and parking facilities. Mobile home parks offer several advantages, such as a stable tenant base, lower turnover rates, and lower maintenance costs compared to traditional rental properties. Additionally, mobile home parks often have a strong demand due to the affordable housing shortage in many areas. Investors can generate significant cash flow by purchasing and operating mobile home parks. Parking facilities, on the other hand, provide consistent cash flow with relatively low operating costs and minimal maintenance requirements. They can also benefit from increasing demand for parking in densely populated urban areas. Parking facilities can generate significant cash flow with high occupancy rates and low expenses. If you'd like to learn more about parking lot and mobile home park investing, you're in luck. We've got two free gifts for you in the description of this video. Look, I'm here to help you with any and all of your passive investing needs. But it's no secret that our favorite asset classes are mobile home parks and parking facilities. It's what we do every single day, and we know it like the back of our hands. If you want to learn more about what, in my humble opinion, is the best asset class in all of real estate, Click the link in the description to get our free guides to mobile home park investing and parking lot investing. Happy reading. That's it for today's episode on generating cash flow from real estate. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more real estate investing tips, and don't forget to check out the free guide in the description. By implementing these strategies and evaluating potential investments based on cash flow potential, investors can generate consistent passive income from real estate and build long-term wealth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.